All righty, Mike, thanks so much. Well, colorectal cancer is actually the third leading cause of death in the United States. And the month of March is dedicated to empowering patients to stay ahead of cancer through prevention and early detection. Dr. Anant Argawala is a gastroenterologist with Hartford HealthCare's Digestive Health Institute. He's joining us today to discuss the importance of those colon cancer screenings. Welcome, doctor. Hi, Kara. Thanks for having me. Uh, happy to have you here. So let's start with a basic one. How often should we be screened? Yeah, it's a very good question. So what we recommend is everybody start screening uh, at the age of 45. People have often 50 years uh, in their head, but we recently changed that to 45 for everybody. A little bit earlier for some people who have certain risk factors. And then every 10 years, if you have a completely normal colonoscopy, a uh, little bit more frequently if you choose to go with a different screening test. But I would talk to your doctor about uh, which one you choose and how often based on that. Yeah, so that 45 years old is important to know because that is a change. Um, and also balance your family history. Make sure your doctors know about that. But early detection and screening we know is important. But what are some of the latest advancements when it comes to actually screening? Yeah, that's a very good question. So as you know, the gold standard for detecting early colon cancer or preventing colon cancer is colonoscopy. And that test has gotten better, easier to do prep, easier to do procedure. Uh, and much better procedure. But if you can't get a colonoscopy or you don't want to get a colonoscopy, there, there are some other tests that we can use to determine whether you are someone who would be at higher risk. Um, some non-invasive tests, certain types of CT scans and stool studies that are also very good at detecting uh, early colon cancer. And so for people who aren't candidates or aren't interested, those are good options to discuss with your physician. Yeah, so that's uh, the many dread, certainly the prep. The procedure is no big deal, but I can tell everyone that, but the prep. But so these are some of the different options you're talking about. There might be another way. That's right. So we do unfortunately have to clear out your colon if we are going to take a look inside, as you can imagine. Um, so that process is not going to change, but the way that we do it has gotten much easier. That We used to use a big gallon jug that uh, is still sometimes used, but can be salty and sweet and not very tasty. Uh, there are some other much smaller volume options now, and for some people who cannot tolerate those, even some pills that you can take to clear out and all the poop in there. Okay, we only have about 15 seconds, but any signs or symptoms we need to be weary of? Absolutely. Early colon cancer can be uh, asymptomatic, but if you do develop anemia, low blood counts, blood in your stool, unintentional weight loss, or a change in bowel habits, those would certainly be all reasons to talk to your primary care doctor or to your gastroenterologist. Dr. Argawala, thank you so much for sharing your time with us. Of course. Take care.